Ed Robertson with a program note, the following conversation was recorded using voiceover internet software to accommodate our guest. Hi, this is Rich Little, and you're listening to TV Confidential. <laughs> the Copycats, with guest host Tony Curtis, starring George Kirby and Frank Gorshin. Ed Robertson, welcoming you back to TV Confidential, radio talk show about television that is pleased to welcome award-winning singer, actress, comedian, and impressionist Marilyn Michaels. Marilyn Michaels, America's premier woman of a thousand faces and voices. From the time she starred as Fanny Bryce in the National Company production of Funny Girl, Marilyn Michaels has brought her gift for satire and her powerful singing style to such diverse venues as Las Vegas, Atlantic City, and London. Well, she has also appeared countless times on television throughout her career, including just about every major late night talk show, daytime talk show, cable talk show, variety show, and variety TV special that you can think of. Some of you might remember Marilyn Michaels for the popular print ad campaign and TV commercials that she did, along with Rich Little, for 7-Up. Well, if you're like me, you immediately think of Marilyn as one of the stars of the Emmy Award-winning series, the copycats. Marilyn Michaels has just released a brand new book called How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life, a book that is not at all about cooking, but more about deciding what you want to do in life and just as important, what you don't want to do in life and getting your budget and other priorities lined up so that you can indeed focus on what you want to do. How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life is also filled with lots of stories about some of the many people that Marilyn knew or worked with throughout her showbiz career. We will tell you where you can find How Not to Cook for the rest of your life. In just a second, when we recorded this conversation, our conversation actually started while I was in the middle of reading her introduction. Marilyn Michaels has brought her gift for satire and her powerful singing style to such diverse venues as Las Vegas, Atlantic City, Chicago, New York, and London. Oh, my God. <laughs> she is a, you, you didn't know that? <laughs> <laughs> they go on and on with this person. Either they know me or they don't, you know. And when they know me, they get, re- oh, yeah, yeah, I know her. I like her, you know. And if they don't, they go, who the hell is that? You yeah, know? Well, I, you know, I, A, I get that reaction from almost every guest. They say, you're, you're the, the, in fact, Steve Bluestein, who did my show oh, yeah. a while back, he said, yeah. your introduction is almost as long as my book, but, <laughs> but you have, you've done many things, and I want people to know I about I have, that. yeah. Uh, Steve is a very dear friend of mine. Yes. Um, uh, who has uh, written for me, of course. He's mm-hmm. incredibly talented. Comed- he's one of the great unsung t- uh, writing and comedic talents of this business, I will say. And he's very, very dear to me, so I just thought I'd throw that in. Absolutely. Abso- but it's so nice to meet you. We've been talking about doing this for quite a while via Chris Corman. Via, via, via Chris Corman, our mutual friend, and Chris who also produces our program. And yes, folks, Chris was directly responsible for Marilyn doing our show. What I love about your book, Marilyn, mm-hmm. two things. One, it made me laugh out loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's very, great. Very that's, important. Very that's important. the idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. And other than the section where you talk about makeup, and accessories and spanks. I found it very relatable. You did? Why'd you wear makeup, accessories, and spanks? No, 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 no. That, that, that part, that, that, that part didn't work for me, but, uh, it, it, you both oh, other than that part. Oh, okay. other, other than that part. Other than that Oh, well, part. if that's the only part that didn't work for you, then that's just fine. Because yeah. there are, I, you know, the interesting thing is I thought that I was writing this, and with my son, Mark, my son, Mark Wilk, who's a, another brilliant comedy writer and impressionist. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can see him on YouTube. If, if you type in Mark Wilk and you'll just flip out, he's mm-hmm. so, so gifted. I wonder how he got so talented. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I set out to write it, and I thought, well, this is going to be my audience, you know, women between the ages of 40 and death, and that's my audience. And now what I find is that just men are buying this book. Like, you know, they they just, just love it. They're having an absolute ball, you know. And someone, oh, someone had recently wrote something. There's some just great reviews on Amazon, uh, and somebody said, I just took this on a plane, <laughs> and I had to uh, 
control myself not to laugh mm -hmm. out loud because I would be disturbing several people who were trying to sleep and get, and get a nap, you know, and, and they were they were so hysterical. So I do I do lay claim to the fact that the book is probably one of the funniest books you will ever the funniest anything you will ever be privy to in yeah. your life. And I second that. I, I did not read it on a plane. I read it in my living room where mm -hmm. I could laugh out loud. And oh. one of my favorite lines is, it's a one-liner about Gilbert Gottfried and, uh -huh. and the cat's deli. You say it's the only time Gilbert Gottfried was probably ever quiet. It's just... And it's, actually, I have to, because you mentioned it, and my, my son would be very happy to hear that. Since you mentioned it, he's the one who wrote the line. Okay. So, All right. give he's, he's that clever. There are so many of the of the terrific punchlines are marks. Not all of them, but a lot of them are, you know. And <laughs> has Gilbert been on your show? Uh, no, yeah. Gilbert has yet to be, be on my show, but of course he has a show of his own, which I understand is very good. I've done his show two times, yeah. so it's been uh, a really quite a, a wonderful experience. The first time I did it, I did about an hour, and I was in this little room, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, my God, I was here then, and I just really go, go, go. I thought I was going to pass out after a while. <laughs> it, was, it was really a, a lot of hard work. Then recently, of course, I did it in conjunction with this book, and I said, hey, guys, I'm not doing an hour anymore. So we did a strong half hour, yeah. you know, a little bit more, and that was okay. But anybody who uh, logs on to, uh, to YouTube and try and find any of the Gilbert Godfrey shows that I've done because I'm very proud of them. You know, Frank Santo Padre, who is the producer and mm -hmm. co-host, they really uh, do an incredible uh, job, the due diligence about everything about your life and your career, you know, so it was uh, marvelous. And anyway, I, I was doing Gilbert for Gilbert. He was, <laughs> he was so excited. He went, went crazy every time I spoke. So <laughs> he loves that, you see. <laughs> On the line with us is Marilyn Michaels. Marilyn Michaels, award-winning singer, actress, comedian, and an America's premier woman of a thousand faces and voices. Marilyn's new book, How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life, which she co-authored with her son, Mark Wilk, is not a cookbook, but it is filled with food for thought, on a lot of famous people. How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life also includes priceless money-saving advice on curtailing the dollars that you would normally spend on stuff like weddings, summer camp shrinks, and platform shoes, and spending them instead on hiring a personal chef or housekeeper, if that indeed is what you want to do. How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life is available at Amazon.com and wherever books are sold online. If you order How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life, directly from Marilyn's website, marilynmichaels.com. Marilyn will personally autograph the book for you. The other thing I like about your book is that it's really about achieving what you want to do while staying true to who you are. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because um, I, I would be hard-pressed to say any woman, every woman, it, you know, follows a certain, oh, we have to be this way, we have to uh, be that, we have to fulfill someone's expectations of how we're going to be as mo wives, as mothers in the kitchen, but a bum but a bum but a bum And um, after a certain point, I said, no, I have to be myself. And, and, uh, and life is too short not to go with your with your passions, you know. Now, if your passion happens to be being a housekeeper and being a chef or being a wonderful cook, well, then, then fine. You find the great, there's godliness in everything you do. But with me, it was, it definitely has not been that. I'm in the, I'm a writer, I'm a comedian, I'm in the creative arts, I'm a musician. So, so this other thing, you know, has been just a hang-up to me in my life. So I do go on a rant here, but it's all done with humor. I mean, it's, you know, I've had people write to me and say, I'm laughing, and every paragraph I, I yeah. laugh out loud, you know, which was not easy, Ed. That was three years. My son says it's four years of working on this because... Um, 
ultimately I worked with uh, Seth Aronstein out of Washington, who was mm-hmm. my um, editor, and he said, there's so much in here, let's break it down into short you know, short little essays, and that's what makes it so fun. You know, um, it doesn't go on. It's it, it's it's not one of these things that oh my god, my god, this is going to be a long chapter. Nothing is like that. You can literally open it any place in any any place in the book. You can open it up and start to read and have a good time. Well, you give us. The sense, at least you gave me the sense, and I suspect if I feel this way, other readers will feel this way as well. There are moments where I feel like I'm watching you on stage as part of oh, one, really? one, <laughs> one of your shows, but then, but then there are times where I feel that where you, where the lights go off, Mm-hmm. And you're just talking to me like we're talking on the phone right now. Oh, you know, I love hearing that. I, I That's such a great compliment. You're almost making me misty. <laughs> no, no, really. Yeah, really. Because because I do go for the laugh. Mm-hmm. And uh, in doing, God willing, the audio version of this, well, that's going to be really, that's going to be really a lot of fun. Okay, yeah. <laughs> because there are so many uh, dialects, accents, and impressions in the business, in the in the book, and people that I talk about. Oh, sure, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So I get it. Ch- I will get a chance to actually. Do- but yes, I'm talking from my heart. I'm talking from my soul. So much of it. And yes, of course, there are things that are revealed in doing a book like this, which is a humorous uh, autobiography, you could call it that. I want to ask you about some of the many dialects you have done throughout your life and career in just a second. But first, another thing we should mention, that the book is also filled, Marilyn's book is also filled with many funny illustrations that they kind of add to many of the stories and yes. the, oh, great. I, I know that you paint and you sketch from time to yes. time did you do these yourself no, no i didn't i didn't do them um yes i am a painter i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fine artist and you can see that on on marilynmichaels.com you can see my art but no no i needed someone who was an illustrator and cartoonist Mm -hmm. who could really evoke, see, each of the illustrations is a joke. Yes. And each one is a joke that I've written, Mm -hmm. okay? But having it in my head and having the right artist who will bring it to life satisfactorily, that was the thing. His name is Marc Chalvin, and he is um, a Parisian. He's a Frenchman, and he's over there, and we had this I don't understand what it is. You know, certain people have a certain chemistry. We had this mystical connection. Mm -hmm. He just got what I was saying. You know, I would write to him and so forth, half in French, half in English. And he got what I was saying. And he got the joke. You know, the French love humor. They love Mm -hmm. Jerry Lewis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and he he did it. You know, he would do a sketch a few times. It wasn't quite right. And I would say, no, 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 do this, do that. And and bingo, he he would hit it out of the park. But each is a joke. (laughs) I don't know if people realize that that's not something that just, you know, happened on the page. It's structured that way. And I don't want to give any of them away because they're... They're so cool. Aren't they cool? They, they are cool, and without giving too much away, I will say my favorite one is the takeoff of The Last Supper. <laughs> okay, okay. We won't give that away, okay? okay. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's, it's really a joy. I'm so proud of it because there isn't anything that doesn't land in this book. Mm-hmm. It is structured. I, I mean, it, it's not something we dashed off. There was so much, I call it blood, sweat, and ink yeah. that went into it to get it so that you, you, you know, tell me, oh, wow, and I laughed, and yet I knew who you are as a person. That, that's great. That's what I was going for, you know. So I, I'm I'm really delighted. I feel like telling your listeners what this what those cartoons are, but I'm not going to give it away because humor is the surprise. It is the surprise element that makes it makes it so. Yeah, 
And, oh, and they enhance the punchline. Oh, thank you. They enhance the punchline. <laughs> they hopefully, yes, 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 they do. Oh, that's and, good. <laughs> and to find out what we're talking about, you got to pick up a copy of How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life by Marilyn Michaels and her son Mark Wilk, which, available, right. uh, uh, which is available at Amazon.com. Autograph editions right. of How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life are available directly through Marilyn herself, Marilyn Michaels. Dot com. You describe yourself as an impressionist versus an impersonator. Now, some people interchange the terms, while others say there is a difference. What are your thoughts on that? Well, here's what it is. Um, an impersonator is basically, and more often than not, a man who takes on a whole other guys of often of a, of a woman of a woman's celebrity mm -hmm. and that's how rich little and and i and all the others who do what we do how we ha uh, define impersonator specifically that you put the makeup on you said not you 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 become through other means um but impressions are usually quick they don't go on for any length of time. They happen kind of quickly, and it's it's just a little magical thing. You know, I in the middle of this wonderful conversation, the phone rings, and I've got to I've I've got to tell that person we're on an interview. Okay. 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 Good. And while Marilyn takes care of that caller, we will remind you that Marilyn's book, How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life, is available at Amazon.com and wherever books are sold online. Autograph editions of How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life are available directly through MarilynMichaels.com. I'm back. Okay. You know, it's like family. They don't call. They don't write. <laughs> now they just uh, you know, uh, hello, why don't you call me? My brother, you know, never calls me. Now he calls me. In the middle of I'm talking to you, he calls me. Yeah, you call me. I'm, I'm, I'm coast to coast, and now you call me. So. I'm telling you. I said, I can't talk to you, and I'm doing an interview. I'm very important. <laughs> but, uh, you, and, and you are very important. But you, oh, you sweetie. But, you, but you, you, you're telling me about the difference between impression and yeah. impersonation. Yes, an, an impression is 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 quick. It's not something that oh, you go in and uh, you you become the person for half an hour mm -hmm. or two hours, or it's not that. And um, it, it's 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 um, a more delicate more delicate thing. Well, imp impressionist. Yeah, right. and if if I'm hearing you correctly, you know. Mm -hmm. you, the, when, when you impersonate, whether it's a Barbara Streisand or a Donna Summers, yeah, or, I mean it's, it's semantics over here. With them, I do impersonate, yeah. but I, I don't call myself an impersonator because it is more often construed as being a guy who gets dressed, up, you know, goes dress and drag or whatever to to create a whole, you know, persona. That yeah. kind of way. But where, where, where I was where, where I was going is. You're, you're you're creating a character. Now your, your your character may be based on an actual person or an actual performer, but you're creating a character, and that oh, and, yeah. and so in, in that respect, you're drawing on what you do as 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 an, as an actress and even as a singer, because, because when you oh, sing yeah. a song, you're telling yeah. a story and you're becoming yeah. the character that's in that song. Yes, but uh, the the audience also doesn't realize that. Some of our greatest film actors are essentially voice artists, mm -hmm. you know, which is what I do. And uh, and and uh, I mean Brando, Meryl Streep, who does all these incredibly varied characters and accents, ethnic accents. Is she's a voice artist? Mm -hmm. She's the brilliant voice artist, you know. Um, impressions come in when it's somebody you know someone you know really really well and um and uh you say oh well that's uh joan rivers or that's barbara streisand or that's elizabeth taylor we're talking to actress singer comedian and impressionist marilyn michaels we'll continue our conversation with marilyn after this quick time out here on tv confidential missed a show we have more than 250 archived editions of TV Confidential available as digital downloads. For more information, go to shop.tvconfidential.net, shop.tvconfidential.net.
net. So I get a chance to sing with someone new tonight. I can sing with every girl inside. So bring all the girls for company. First, Rosemary Clooney's gonna sing with me. my house I'm gonna give you candy come on to my house of my house I'm gonna give you a peach and a pear and I love your hair I'm... come on to my house of my house I'm gonna sing a bit to wear the lovely earth a kit You can listen to this show all over again as a podcast on TuneIn, iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other podcast platforms. Best of all, it's free. To find out how to subscribe to the TV Confidential podcast, go to the homepage at televisionconfidential.com and click subscribe now. Story Salon is Los Angeles' longest-running storytelling venue. We have live shows every Wednesday in Studio City, as well as solo shows, podcasts, CDs, and several books. Los Angeles Daily News calls Story Salon Gemstones of Narrative, something new, funny, astonishing. Sunset Magazine says, Tales tall, tragic, and tantalizing. All of this makes Story Salon one of the most eclectic entertainment experiences available. You can learn more about us by going to our Facebook page or by visiting our website at www. StorySalon.com. Want a free first ride with Uber? Uber, the mobile app that connects you with a ride at the touch of a button in minutes. Enter promo code TV Confidential after you download the app to receive your first free ride up to $20. For more information, go to get.uber.com forward slash go forward slash TV Confidential. Ed Robertson, author friend Donna Allen Figueroa, who I understand has a new book out. Yes, it's entitled Fall Again Beginnings. It's the first part of a four-part contemporary romantic series uh, set against the background of working actors. Something that you know a, little, a thing well, or two well, about. Well, you write what you know, and I have been working in the business for several years. It is not necessarily autobiographical, but it's based on... Sure, many of the experiences that the actors in my book have, many have happened to me, many have happened to friends of mine. It's not, if you're looking for Valley of the Dolls, it's not, it's grounded in reality. It is grounded in reality, and it's the first in a series. Yes, Called the Fall Again series. Fall Again. Which is available as a paperback as well as an ebook and in Kindle at fallagainseries.com.